ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு விவித் கெமி யூடியூப் சேனல் திஸ் இஸ் வித்யாஸ்ரீ இன் மை லாஸ்ட் டூ வீடியோஸ் ஐ ஹாவ் சால்வ் தி ஃபஸ்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி கொஷின்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் மேத்தமெட்டிக்ஸ் அண்ட் சயின்ஸ் பேப்பர் டூ கொஷின் பேப்பர் ஆஃப் கர்நாடகா டிடி டூ தௌசண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி டூ மாடல் கொஷின் பேப்பர் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ ஐ வில் பி சால்விங் தி நெக்ஸ்ட் டென் கொஷின்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் தி மாடல் கொஷின் பேப்பர் கொஷின் நம்பர் ஒன் லெவன் Alpha and beta are the zeros of a polynomial ax square plus bx plus c. The value of alpha square plus beta square is. Here the given polynomial is quadratic equation. And the zeros of quadratic equations are nothing but it's the root of the quadratic equation. We have sum of roots. alpha plus beta which is equal to minus b divided by a and product of roots alpha into beta is c by a in the question it is asked to find alpha square plus beta square so from the identity alpha plus beta whole square we can write this as alpha square plus beta square plus 2ab rearranging this we can write alpha square plus beta square is nothing but alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha into beta we can write alpha square plus beta square is equal to alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha into beta alpha plus beta is minus b by a whole square minus 2 alpha into beta is c by a So this is minus b square upon a square minus 2c by a. Taking LCM minus b square minus 2ca divided by a square. The value of alpha square plus beta square is equal to minus b square minus 2ca divided by a square. Therefore the right answer is option 2. Question number 112. In triangle PQR, QT is perpendicular to PR. If PQR. angle tqr is equal to 40 degree and angle spr is equal to 30 degree then the value of x and y are option 1 30 degree and 50 degree option 2 50 degree and 100 degree option 3 60 degree and 120 degree option 4 50 degree and 80 degree in the question it is given that qt is perpendicular to pr that means the angle qtr this is 90 degree and also the other side will also make 90 degree angle now from the triangle qtr sum of all the three angles is 180 degree that means here angle tqr which is 40 degree plus angle qtr 90 degree and angle x their sum is 180 degree 130 degree plus x is equal to 180 degree and therefore x is 180 degree minus 130 degree is equal to 50 degree so now x is 50 degree now we need to find what is angle y so you can consider triangle psr sum of all the three angles it is 30 plus 50 degree plus angle psr is equal to 180 degree 80 degree plus angle psr is equal to 180 degree and therefore angle psr is 180 degree minus 80 degree is 100 degree now in order to find y so this is what we have qsr and y is this side here we have p So now we have found what is this PSR and it is 100 degree. So we know that the angle made in a straight line is 180 degree. So therefore we can find Y. So this Y plus 100 that should be giving 180 degree angles of a straight line. So Y is 180 degree minus 100 it is 80 degree. So this is a way of finding angle Y. So there is another easy method that you can find the angle Y. without finding this angle psr we will see now how that method can be used to solve for y we all have studied that exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the interior opposite angles 
so here in the triangle psr the y is exterior angle now the interior opposite angles are 30 degree and 50 degree which is nothing but x exterior angle is equal to sum of interior opposite angle it is 30 degree plus 50 degree and therefore y is 80 degree and therefore the right answer is option 4 50 degree and 80 degree question number 113 abc is an equilateral triangle with the sides 2a units the length of the altitude of the triangle is option a 2a square option 2 root 3a option 3 root 3 by 4a option 4 root 2 by 3a in the question it is given that the sides of the equilateral triangle is 2a units and we need to find the altitude so the formula to find altitude is h is equal to 1 by 2 root 3a where a is side of the triangle so in the question it is given that a is 2a units and therefore these 2 and 2 gets cancelled and the answer for altitude or height of the equilateral triangle is root 3a therefore the right answer is option 2 now i'll move to question number 122 which is a question from the science part of the question paper mathematics pedagogy questions we will discuss at the end in the last video we will discuss the pedagogy questions of mathematics as well as science Question number 122. SI unit of force does not contain which of the following physical quantity? Option 1. Mass. Option 2. Length. Option 3. Time. Option 4. Luminosity. So we know formula to calculate force is F is equal to M into A. We will deduce the units now. Unit of mass is kg and unit of acceleration is meter per second square. So this is the unit of force it is kg meter per second square or this we also call it as newton which is unit of force now we will check out in the given options okay so force its unit is kg meter per second square now it contains mass it has length means meter is the unit of length and second is there which is unit of time and the unit of physical quantity luminosity that is not there in the SI unit of force therefore the right answer is option 4 luminosity question number 123 which of the following is not correct with respect to force of attraction between two bodies of mass m1 and m2 separated by a distance d g is constant we have from universal law of gravitation the force of attraction between the two bodies of mass m1 and m2 is given by F is equal to G M1 into M2 divided by D square. And from this equation it is clear that the force of attraction is directly proportional to the product of masses of two objects and the force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between two objects. So if you look into the four options that is given, option 1 is correct, force is directly proportional to the product of masses, option 2 is also correct this is inversely proportional to square of the distance whereas option 3 is not matching with the universal law of gravitation force is inversely proportional to the product of mass is given fourth is the expression for universal law of gravitation and in the question it is asked that which is not correct with respect to force of attraction and therefore the right answer for this particular question is option 3 question number 124 identify the color of light emitted by sodium lamp option 1 yellow color option 2 blue color option 3 green color option 4 red color so the light that is emitted by sodium lamp is yellow color therefore right answer is option 1 question number 125 which of the following device is used to measure intensity of magnetic field option 1 magnetometer option 2 pyrometer option 3 hydrometer option 4 flux meter so among the given four devices it is magnetometer that measures the intensity of magnetic field therefore the right answer is option one magnetometer and the other options pyrometer is used to measure the change in temperature hydrometer is used to measure density flux meter that measures the changes in magnetic flux
question number 126. Identify the position of image formed when an object at infinity is placed in front of a convex lens. Option 1 at F, option 2 between F and C, option 3 beyond C, option 4 at C. So whenever we place an object at infinite distance in front of convex mirror, the image is formed at its focus. Therefore, the right answer is option 1 at F. Question number 127. A vessel is filled with a clear solution up to a height of 20 cm. When weaved from the top, its bottom appears to be 15 cm below. Then calculate the refractive index of clear liquid. Option 1 13.3, Option 2 1.33, Option 3 0 0.13, Option 4 0 0.0133. So here I have tried to represent it diagrammatically. So there is the change in medium that is occurring when ray of light that is traveling from clear liquid to air. So the observer sees the light ray which is refracted. So refracted light ray that reaches eye of observer. So whenever we see a ray of light coming, we will think that the light is coming from a straight point okay so that is why the depth appears to be different than that of the actual depth the formula to calculate refractive index in this case is n is equal to real depth divided by apparent depth and it is given that the clear solution is filled up to the height of 20 centimeter and it appears to be present at 15 cm. Therefore, 15 cm is the apparent depth. So, upon simplifying, you will get the refractive index to be equal to 1.33. Therefore, the right answer is option 2, 1.33. I will stop this video here. Remaining questions will be solved in the upcoming videos. If you have not watched my the previous two videos related to solution of model question paper please do watch it link will be provided in the description box thank you for watching like and share the video if the contents provided are useful to you subscribe to my channel if you are watching it for the first time do not forget to press the bell icon to get notified about upcoming videos